Hello students, I am Himanshi and today we will be learning chapter number 9 of class 10th that is applications of trigonometry. So we have already done one session on this and today I will be extending this session to do some word problems. So first of all quickly let us see some learning outcomes. We have recalled basic ratios of trigonometry. We visualized eye movements while observing an object and we also saw some real life problems. So in this session I will be telling you about some more real life problems. So let us first recapitulate what we have done in first session. I told you about the introduction of this chapter that why this chapter is important, why we are studying it and its applications in real life. So let us quickly move on. So there are three important terms in this chapter, line of sight, angle of elevation and angle of depression. So we have already studied about them but I would like you to recall them because these are the integral terms which will help us do real life word problems. So what is line of sight? Line drawn from the eye of an observer to the object. So that imaginary line is called line of sight when we are looking at an object, right? Then comes angle of elevation, angle formed by line of sight. See, when I am looking at an object that is a little higher, I am looking upwards, this angle with the horizontal is called angle of elevation. In similar way comes the angle of depression. When I am looking downwards, when I am bending my head, then the angle made with the horizontal is called angle of depression, okay? So, I hope you are ready to do some interesting word problems. So this is from NCRT exercise 9.1 question number 12. See, from the top of a 7 meter high building, the angle of elevation of the what of top, top of cable tower 60 degree. See, I would read this again. From the top of a 7 meter high building, the angle of elevation of the top of a cable tower is 60 degree. Okay, so you have... You have been given angle of elevation. So while reading the question, we have to focus on the things which are given to us. So uh, reading further and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree. So angle of depression is also given. What we have to find is determine the height of the tower. So let us look at the figure now. See, this figure what it is saying is 7 meter high building. So this I consider the building. This is 7 meter high. So these names I've given. Now they are saying angle of elevation. So clearly this when you're going from C a little higher. This angle is angle of elevation. This angle is angle of depression. This is given to be 45 degree. Now they are saying that determine the height of the tower. See this I consider to, to be the tower. But here you can see a little segment AE and EB. Why this segment? Because when you're looking at the figure you have to analyze certain things just by looking. See this DB is the horizontal or you can say floor. This is the ground. These two points are on horizontal. This CD is perpendicular. This EB is perpendicular. Why? Because it is quite obvious when the building is standing, it is standing with 90 degree angle. So clearly CD and EB are parallel. Also because they are parallel, CE will be equal to DB. So you have to remember that CE is equal to DB. Clearly with the same logic CD is equal to EB. That is why this has been mentioned as 7 meter and this I consider to be H. So this whole cable tower becomes AB which is H plus 7 or 7 plus H you can say anything. So let us start the solution. In triangle CDB first of all you have to recognize triangles in this chapter. Why? Because this chapter is applications of trigonometry. So here you will see triangles as obviously we are talking about the relation of angles and side lengths. See in CDB this is the triangle. Here 
सी डी अपॉन डी बी इज इक्वल टू टेन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एज वी नो दैट टेन थीटा इज पर पेंडिकुलर अपॉन बेस सो टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज इक्वल टू सी डी विच इज गिवन टू बी सेवन मीटर अपॉन डी बी विच इज अनोन एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड डी बी नाउ मूविंग बिफोर मूविंग फर्दर इफ यू आर हैविंग दिस क्वेश्चन इन योर हेड दैट वाई मैम वाई वी आर लुकिंग एट डी बी ओनली एज वी हैव टू फाइंड एच वाई आर वी अटैकिंग दिस डी बी सी द सोल्यूशन इज क्वाइट सिंपल द आंसर टू दिस इन दिस ट्राइंगल नो लेंथ इज गिवन we have to know one angle and at least one side length to know another side length so if we find this side we can easily find h also and this ce is equal to db as mentioned earlier so db from this equation is equal to 7 meter okay now as ce is equal to db this is also 7 meter so i am writing 7 meter now in triangle aec so now we come to triangle aec so ae upon ce is equal to tan 60y because in this triangle ace or aec as you might call it ae is h and ce is 7 meter as you know that db is equal to ce so here h upon 7 is equal to tan 60y because this is perpendicular and this is base so ae that is h upon ce that is 7 is equal to what you know tan 60 is root 3 we have already recalled trigonometric ratios so you should remember that tan 60 is root 3 so we get h equal to 7 root 3 meter okay but were you asked to uh, tell the value of h no we were asked to tell the length of ab which is the tower and ab is equal to h plus 7 so ab is equal to h plus 7 which is equal to 7 root 3 plus 7 okay why because h is equal to 7 root 3 So seven root three plus seven meter. So the answer is AB equal to seven bracket open root three plus one. Why? Because we have taken out common seven. So root three plus one meters. So the height of the cable tower is. AB equal to seven root three plus one meter. So I hope you understood this question. Let us move on to the next question. So this is question number sixteen from exercise nine point one itself. The angles of elevation of the top of a tower from two points at a distance of four meter and nine meter from the same point. And what is that point? Base of the tower. and in straight line also so we have to prove that the height of the tower is 6 meter if the angles of elevation are complementary so let's look at the figure see these p and q are the points on the ground which are at a distance of 4 meter and 9 meter from the base of the tower and base of the tower is this b point okay and they are in the same straight line which means this ground these angles are complementary see do you know what are complementary angles two angles whose sum is 90 are called complementary so if you take this angle to be theta this angle is going to be 90 minus theta so you can take any like you can take alpha also if this is alpha This is ninety minus alpha. You can take vice versa also. If this is theta, then this is ninety minus theta. So that is up to you. What we have to do is we need to prove that the height of the tower is six meter, which means we have to show that h is equal to six meter. So let us look at the solution. Let us uh, assume that the height of the tower is h meter. You can take h, m, n, anything. Then we have PB equal to four. We have QB equal to 
9 we let that angle AQB is theta so by using that these two angles are complementary angle APB is 90 minus theta okay so in triangle APB see APB in this triangle H upon 90 minus H upon 4 is equal to tan of 90 minus theta why perpendicular upon base equal to tan theta so AB upon PB will be equal to 90 minus theta which means cot theta why you have studied that tan and cot are complementary so tan 90 minus theta is cot theta so AP, AB that is H upon PB which is 4 is equal to cot theta okay which means H equal to 4 cot theta now you have to remember this value that we have found H equal to 4 cot theta because we are going to use this further in our question now this triangle we have taken APB now we will take another triangle that is AQB let us see see in triangle ABQ or AQB you can call it by any name you want AB upon QB equal to tan theta AB is the perpendicular and QB or BQ is the base so it is equal to tan theta now this is H so H and this is 9 QB so putting the values we get H upon 9 equal to tan theta which gets us H equal to 9 tan theta now earlier we found out that H is equal to 4 cot theta and here H is equal to 9 tan theta but we need to find the value of H so we are going to do something with the help of which we can eliminate this theta so you know that tan theta into cot theta is 1 so what I do is multiply the two equations that is h equal to cot theta h equal to 4 cot theta and h equal to 9 tan theta if you multiply the LHS of these two equations you get h into h and if you multiply the RHS of these two equations you get 4 cot theta into 9 tan theta so you you get h square h into h h square equal to 4 into 9 that is 36 then cot theta into tan theta is 1 so h square is 36 so by taking square root we get h equal to root 36 that is 6 meter so h is equal to 6 meter here we will be ignoring minus 6 why because h is a length and it can't be negative so that is your answer we had to find the length of ab and that is 6 meters so i hope you understood this question also let us move on to the next question see this is from your exemplar book exemplar problem exercise 8.4 so the question is question number 14 from the top of a tower h meter high there is a tower which is h meters high the angles of depression of two objects here it is talking about two objects so angle of depression is going to be different which are in line with the foot of the tower they are alpha and beta and they are given they are giving you that beta is greater than alpha we have to find the distance so let us see how the figure is see from the top of a tower this is the tower this is h meter high the angles of depression of two objects which are in line so these are the two objects b and c it is talking about angles of depression which means when you look from a to these points when you look from a to b the angle is this alpha when you look from A to this point C the angle is beta and beta is greater than alpha it is also given we have to find the distance between two objects that is we need to find the distance between B and C which means X so I have assumed it to be X 
सो हाउ वी आर गोन प्रोसीड सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू सी देर आर टू ट्राइंगल्स ट्राइंगल ए सी डी एंड ट्राइंगल ए बी डी सो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक दिस इन ट्राइंगल आई एम टेकिंग दिस ट्राइंगल ए सी डी सो इन ट्राइंगल ए सी डी पर पेंडिकुलर अपॉन बेसिस टैन थीटा सो एच अपॉन वाई एच अपॉन वाई इज इक्वल टू टैन ऑफ दिस एंगल दैट इज बीटा ओके दिस इज वन इक्वेशन वी विल यूज इट आई एम टेकिंग नाउ ट्राइंगल ए बी डी इन ट्राइंगल ए बी डी अगेन एच इज द परपेंडिकुलर एंड एक्स प्लस वाई इज द बेस दिस इज एक्स दिस इज वाई सो द बेस बी डी इज गोइंग टू बी एक्स प्लस वाई सो एच अपॉन एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू टैन ऑफ दिस एंगल अल्फा नाउ वी नीड टू फाइन एक्स सो इफ यू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई यू गेट एच इक्वल टू वाई टैन बीटा सो आई एम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइंग इन दिस इक्वेशन देन आई विल यूज द वैल्यू ऑफ एच फ्रॉम फर्स्ट इक्वेशन दैट इज दिस वन सो एच इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वाई इंटू टैन अल्फा विच मीन्स एक्स इंटू टैन अल्फा प्लस वाई इंटू टैन अल्फा नाउ एच इज इक्वल टू वाई टैन बीटा ऑल्सो सो इफ यू यूज द वैल्यू ऑफ एच फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन एंड पुट इट इन दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट वाई टैन बीटा सी हियर द वाई गोज एंड गेट्स मल्टीप्लाइड विथ टैन बीटा इज इक्वल टू एक्स टैन अल्फा प्लस वाई टैन अल्फा बट हियर आई एम टेकिंग दिस पोर्शन वाई टैन अल्फा to the left hand side and subtracting so i get y tan alpha and in the right hand side we have x tan alpha now i need to find the value of x so i divide the whole equation with tan alpha now here x into tan alpha this becomes x equal to the tan alpha goes to the denominator y tan beta minus y tan alpha whole divided by tan alpha i take common y i get tan beta minus tan alpha and in the denominator i have tan alpha now this is the value of x we were asked to find x only but here there is a small difference we were given h in the question so we have to give the answer in terms of those variables which are already given the y was not given and we assumed it so we need to replace the value of y and i will use this equation for the same purpose so x is equal to the value of y from this equation is h upon tan beta because y goes here with tan beta so if h is equal to y tan beta then we know see value of y becomes h upon tan beta okay so you use this and put it here h upon tan beta and here we have tan beta minus tan alpha and in denominator we have tan alpha now if you look at this the value of x you see that we have only alpha 
beta and h in the answer and alpha beta and h were given in the question so this is the final answer so i hope you understood this so let us summarize this session the line of sight as you already know is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to the object viewed so this imaginary line as i have already told you this is the line of sight then angle of elevation angle of elevation of an object is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal so it's this way always remember if this is the eye you're looking to an object which is here this is the horizontal this becomes angle of elevation in the same way the angle of depression of an object angle of depression of an object is the angle formed with the line of sight angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when it is below the horizontal so the last point see we have done many questions we have done many real life problems where we were given some height length distance or angles and we needed to find different remaining components so the height length height or length of an object or distance between two distant objects can be determined with the help of yes trigonometric ratios so i hope that you understood this session thank you for watching